Hello and welcome back to a new episode of my Let's Build Minecraft and in this one I will be building a clock tower and it's super simple to follow I'm gonna, if you want I'll do a proper tutorial but it's a 7x7 base you can choose any bricks you want just make sure the roof is the same colour as your four corners and make sure that um, all four sides are the same colour for this I use normal um, uh, stone brick because it matches my roof and my house and I used also um, <clears throat> uh, what's it called green concrete because it matches the walls of my house and personally I feel like it turned out so much better than I would have ever expected I made it look really fancy at the top but halfway through if you do watch I do mess up and have to rebuild the roof so if you're just watching keep that in mind so you don't mess up as well if you're building along and I feel like this would be a great addition to any world if it's a modern world perfect you can just add quartz instead of like wood or brick uh, or, or if it's an old world you can add wood instead of concrete and uh, like maybe uh, uh, logs instead of brick so I think this is an easy to follow thing for every, anyone For the sides, you just put the same brick as you, the same material as you used on the corners, but you do a two gap space in between all of them. So you miss two at the bottom, then you place one, miss two, place one, and so on like that. And then, um, and then in the middle of them, which I'll start doing this later in the episode, you pit place uh, any type of fence. But I went for a stone fence because it fit in with the theme a lot more cleaner than normal fence would have. As you can see here, I am placing a stone fence, same material as the corners and that very small roof. I feel like this adds the most depth and makes it look a lot more realistic because otherwise from that it would just be a box with a, a spiky roof. But um, eventually I do add more detail by adding grass box and vines to add edge to it and more depth and more field of view. It just makes it look a lot better, like as you can see now on my house. As you can see here, um, I add more layers to it, but I always keep two at the top because I want to, uh, as well, make it taller from the house because I want it to be the tallest build. And I know the roof would have added a spike, but I don't think that would have been tall enough. It would still not stand out as much, so that's why I added more. I think I added, I think, around seven or something like that more. And at this point, I do realize that I made a mistake by adding it because it takes more building time and more effort and stuff like that. And as I said in my last episode, I promise, I do build the, the Big Ben chimes, the, the Bing Bong thing. And uh, I, I don't attach it to this, I attach it and use it as a doorbell. Because personally, I feel like clicking that every day just sounds a lot better than doing it once every blue moon when I actually visit that clock tower so I think it adds a lot more realism because if you're in a massive mansion like this of course you'd have a custom doorbell that represents one of your favourite things not in my case but like in this case because clock tower is the main, part, main focus of this house
at this point here is where I make the mistake. I made um, the roof, this part that I'm building with stairs now, one too low and it annoys me so much during the end. Because when you do something one block wrong and it's like one block too high or something like that, you have to completely break it all. And that was the worst part because I completely finished this build until then and so I had to restart the hardest part of it which was this because everything else is just one box so and I do still think that this is one of the easiest builds you could easily do with this much detail and at this size because all it takes is I think this all took me over like 10 12 15 minutes less than 15 minutes and um, if you watch this once and then think oh I can recreate that but in my style like I did and I saw a few photos of similar ones. Like how I always do my builds, I see photos of people's bases I like, like I got inspiration for mine, and then I then I like combine them in my way. And like because of these, I saw other guys, uh, my favorite YouTuber, I think his name's like Dallas Man or something. I don't know, but he does cool Minecraft videos. And he, um, he made his house green, and it was like a similar style. And then I also thought, I want mine to have like a, a rustic feel that it's not just like an average house that it has like some secrets towards it which is why I built that um which is why I did build off camera like a hidden room where if you walk out of it it drops you and then you land in a secret check secret room and that's why I have so many dark rooms well that's why I have so many fish tanks because I feel like that's kind of spooky nowadays but anyway, I really like how this build looks, and I would 100% recommend anyone else to um, make it as well. Just look how good it looks. But as you can see, I need to lift the roof one block. It's so annoying that I messed up on that. What I'm going to do is skip to the point where I realise and build it one up. So you guys don't have to watch me rebuild it all again. There you go, I completely did it. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a flag on top. So it looks a bit more my style. And I'm going to build my signature flag, which is two uh, light blue concretes and then one light purple concrete. Right now I'm just connecting my main house to it. And what I'm planning on doing is building a few um, rooms in there, like a bedroom chest room and uh, like an aquarium room an enchanting room and um, a bedroom I think I've already said that one yet but um, I really like how this looks and I personally feel like uh, this is a great add-on to any base you'll ever make even if it's a super futuristic one like I said in the past or if it's a similar build to mine because you can never go wrong with a clock tower I was thinking of a uh, video idea, so I built a really big um, compass facing north where you'd be standing if you were holding it, but then I realised that, that doesn't look good at all, and because your zero zero I think is always north, north, but yeah, um, I, I just didn't really like how it ended up, and it's always to check where north is, because it's just easy, you can do it with the sunset because it rises, and then uh, that it rises and uh, sunsets it goes down so that's how you can kind of tell that it's not off east south west and then the clock tower I think I do get a, a far away view in a second I, th I think it looks so good I do add a lot of weathering to it so it looks more natural but apart from that it looks great and there is barely anything if not nothing I would change about this base at all so far and I would have added a video of me um, b uh, building the rooms but I feel like that's a bit boring because all the rooms are just simple I have a, um, a room that's filled with chests I have a room that's filled and just has a bed in it and an enchanting room and stuff like that so it's pretty simple stuff And just like I promised, the big Ben chimes.